In the previous tutorial videos in the same series, we have already created a private repository for holding your ECS1021 lab workspace. So if you look at that, so this is what we did previously. We got Hello World, we got Lab Zero Part 1, and we also got the Lab Zero Part 1 demo. So now we, what we're going to do for this current lab, we're going to create a new project inside this same uh, repository. Okay. So what we'll do now, assuming that your desktop is currently just empty, so we don't have the workspace cloned yet. So we're going to do the clone right away. Okay. So what we'll do is let's go to previous page and make sure you choose uh, your repositories over here. Make sure you choose that. And now let's go into EECS1021 lab workspace. Okay. And then we're going to say clone or download. And you may use open desktop if you're using your own computer. But if you're on a lab computer, you can simply copy the URL. And if you're using Mac OS, uh, Mac computer, you can also use this option here to use command line because you can simply just uh, use the terminal to type the commands. But I'm going to use uh, just URL option. Okay, I'll copy the URL and then I'm going to open a terminal and then make sure you change directory to desktop. Okay, and then we're going to clone. So I'll say git clone and then I will paste the URL over here and then I'm going to clone it. Okay, so now it's been done. So that means I have ECS1021 lab workspace and then I have all these projects over here for me ready. Okay, of course, I don't really have to look at any one of them for the current lab, but at least they are there. They're always there. Okay, so what I would do now, I'm going to open this particular EECS1021 lab workspace repository as my workspace on Eclipse. And then from there, I create a new Java project for the current lab. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so now we're going to open Eclipse and let's click on Eclipse over here. And then we make sure we choose the right workspace. You can browse and then you can simply go to desktop and then choose this. Okay, on the desktop at the top level of the repository. Okay, and then you will say open. And then make sure the path is right and then you say launch. As soon as we launch the Eclipse, it is not going to reveal any of the projects from your repo uh, GitHub repository. If you still want to see your previous project, you can do so. You can simply say file, uh, import, and then under general, you can go to existing projects into workspace, and then you can say next. And then we'll say browse, and then we'll say, uh, let's say I want to see lab zero part one. Okay, if I want to see my previous work, I can simply say open this particular project. And then you'll see this will show up on your import panel and then you can say finish. Okay, so this is my work from the previous uh, lab zero part one. Okay, all the Java files are here. Okay, but I'm not going to modify them for this particular lab. So what I will do now, I'm going to create a new project in the same repository. So the idea is throughout the semester, every time you have a new lab, you only create a new project within the same uh, repository. You do not create any new uh, repository. Okay, just keep that in mind. And then we'll say file, new, Java projects, and then I would say lab zero part two. Okay, that's the current lab we're gonna do. And then we'll say finish. Okay, lab zero part two. Okay, that's a project. And then you can see we got lab zero part two and then we got a source code. Okay, and now of course at the end, after you have done all the work from the tutorial examples, you can also add commit and push all the changes back to your GitHub account. That's something I will, I will assume you know how to do. Okay, in the next video, we'll start developing new Java classes from this particular new project, Lab Zero Part 2.